it's me, or look at go. And welcome back to some more TF2. I will not really news, but let me explain. So recently, as well March 28, as you can see, the blue moon up the a new up a giant new update came out, which people have been been dubbing the blue moon update. Because usually they dub it whatever it is based on the crates if they got Louise or if they gave it a first or name. And this this was supposedly to basically address everything. All the problems that have been going on and everything else. And while I have been able to get into comps more easily, I haven't been able to doing like late nights. So during the day it's still hard, it like nearly impossible to get into comps. So they still gotta address that issue, they still got I feel feel they hype black. I've heard there's still hackers and stuff, so they still gotta address that. What they're gonna do with back. They're gonna try to like either ban Linux player for now and then just let them come back once they got the things fixed or what. Uh casual improvements. Yeah, that's new cl Clayco system that's basically making so Sorry, I just, I just woke up. Sorry about that. It's essentially making it so that way you could actually be paired up with players on your skill level all the time, rather than just some of the time. Of course, it's taking a while to work, but I'm starting to see some improvements. They re added some of the favorite maps people have been wanting to see come back, and they also made it so. Yeah, there you go. They also did that. And they also make it so you could actually queue and multi queue. So that way, they, it's basically so that way you can, like, rather than sitting there and waiting for, say, a tour duty map or a competitive match, you can just go play casual. So I actually like that. That's probably one of the biggest things they've done, which I actually like. Gameplay changes. They finally, finally fixed Pyro to where it's not as annoying. Is it flame damage now ramps up? So, so now instead of just you puff on someone, you leave and they just burn for like five seconds. They only burn, they won't like, like a bunch of damage for like five seconds or so. You can puff them on once and they will really just burn for one damage. So I like that. Yep. And then they got Dragon Furies on, she been changed to a cop cry more skill. And then they made, I think this, they didn't really didn't do much with it, they just basically. Um, fixed it for MVM. Basically. The extinguisher, they finally, finally, finally buffed it. The way it's finally back to where. Where it is. The increase on burning target sees the damage bonus based on the, the remaining time duration afterburn. So yeah, now as you require skills, it requires you to know how how um as we know how long they've been how, uh, how long they're burning and how much damage you're gonna do rather than just pop on them and hit them once and you get and you kill them. So I like that. Then with us it's got a little bit of a boost. Denise Lieber got changed. Um, I really haven't noticed that. I feel, besides, like the headshots doing more damage, I feel like I haven't really noticed any more changes. Short circuit. Oh my god! Like, I don't know how I feel. Like, I sort of like it because it makes it like short circuit actual viable for like spy checking and stuff. But at the same time, it sort of gets rid of that idea that you can't. Like, I think it's still, like, well, it's a projectile, but, yeah, it says projectile not destroying. So, it's, like, takes more skill to use short circuit rather than just call next to a century and just click, 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 click. 
Also makes a less of a pain. Um, pocket boy pistol got nerf. Panic attack. Um, got changed to analyzer. Still saying just got a bug fix. And then just got, we got fixes over here. And then you got the new moon stuff. So they moved the, uh, from they moved the um bone vine down to like the middle, like down to the bottom half of the corner, so that way you could actually just yeah, that way it's like harder to find, I guess. I don't know. Also, they make they brought brought about all balance, so that way people can't just be jerks about it and just say, oh, I don't want to join their team. I still join anyways because I just want the, the bonus XP. And yeah. Blue spawn time spin. Yeah, and also they've they've heavily updated freaking It, it's um they basically just made it so Mercenary Park isn't as bad as the map to play on. Like that's good. Like they added a they had a window on third, so now you like I, I think the, that's the only thing they really changed is like. First and second were okay. It were they weren't that bad. You you would you can at least basically break through. Third, however, is where it got difficult because you got fifty. You got you have like fifty centuries with no good actual like century way like actual way to kill them. Now you you got that window. Um, I'm pretty sure there was something else. I don't know if like one was the thing they added. They basically, they added a window, like, to where you would actually just shoot them on. Okay. Yeah, you can't, you can only build up the top of the stack. Behind the new caliber. And yeah, they, they made it so blue spawns look slowered. Yep. And I feel like this is what they needed, because, again, it's a good map. Sh like, it's a shame that there's not, like, really more, like, people trying to use the depth kill zones. But it's a good map. It's not that bad of a map. It's a good map. But it's, it was just that last point was just so irritating for both sides. Well, actually not for both sides, which is for blue, because blue was the one attacking. So it would be just irritating for everyone to try and attack, because... What we do, we got a sentry spot on this giant, create a box, bloop, 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 bloop. Also, recently, I've been seeing a lot of mo more nasty sentry spots, like being on top of buildings, being on top of, like, rock stuff. I've been seeing them a lot more lately, along with people using Wrangler, so... I feel like a Wrangler nerf is going to be in the works, considering how easily they've been trying to make, how easy it's been for Wranglers to just be used as a way to save century. <laughs> so I feel like that's going to be a nerf that's going to have to be addressed. Now for things I still have, I'm still, I'm disappointed by. Um, well, 
Nothing really disappoints me. There are a few weapons I feel like they should have changed, but they just still haven't that they've been meaning to change. Um, Animals is probably, like, the ring loot Animal Cosmo is probably going to be lost. It's, you're either going to be stuck with using the uh, Soda Popper and the Winger, or the Soda Popper or the Animals. You can't use all three because it's basically no point to have all three. Personally, I'd rather just use my bring my secondary. I I rather give up my secondary and have a good melee weapon than give up my melee weapon to have a good secondary. Um, the baby face is still as bad as ever. It it desperately needs a freaking buff. It needs something, Valve. Come on. Like, you guys could can. can you guys need to hurry up and actually. <clears throat> but then you guys need to like hurry up and actually fix like that. I like seriously, you know, we're bringing it back and fix the actual hitbox the way it's like people can hit you, or make it so you take like more, like or or keep it the way it was. Like you you don't need Natasha heavy anymore to try to slow down close it down. You can just. Hit them, but we can't take make it so you hit, require more hits. It's still the equivalent of two pistol shots. Um, oh, there was also this weird bug for the bird scouts, where they basically have um the ability um. Um, I want to see if they fix they fix it. Oh um, no, I don't think they have. I think they still can't. They still have it. They still have the bug where bird scouts can just go T pose and just fly where. And sure, that might be a problem, but like, really, people are going to use it the way it's going to use to, and then people who bug it, like, here's the thing, bugs are not bad, when, like, the only thing I would say they need to make sure the bug can't be used for is, like, having an enemy sh basically get on the top of the a Bird Scout, and basically just be able to sight people. Next, so once they go, once... Once they go like they do that, they can't be like if all people pass through enemy and friends or something like that. So they can't do that. But beyond that, I I just say keep the bug because it's like again it's like T posing heavy. There's nothing wrong with the bug. There's nothing wrong. It, it's not game break or anything. It's just something fun for people to do, and I think that's the point. I think that's the point of TF2. You need to have like. It's stupid, like, it's stupid, but it's also the same time meant, to have, meant for fun. Yeah. I haven't really, ex like, the only time I've been counting, like, hackers are the hackers been that been using, like, the spam the freaking text box for with ads kind of hackers, which are easily, usually easy to hit, kick. And comp has been, I've had, I haven't had any problems with, like, hackers and comp. And I've only, I'm four more games away from having my comp rank, so that's a good idea. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can we'll have like some news about what's going, what their plan are, plan is. Because as weapons, I, I like another weapon. I, I wish they, I hope I do, they do make a change to, like a we work. To detonator, like. Besides the whole like freaking being able to destroy sticky stickies, which again I think the uh, school shot can now do. Like it's like it's really not viable because if you want something to hit, you might as well just like an explosion, a giant explosion for fire. You might as well just go with school shot because then uh, at least that point they can basically like freeze the person in the air. So I hope we did and it gets a buff. Um, but yeah, this basically means court um swap and shot pyros are 
actually sort of back. Not in a way where they were super OP, but again, the way, way that, you know, you can actually flank. And you actually, you know, do stuff. I sort of like it. I think the best, but like, the, from what I get, I've seen the best, like, the best, the blah. The best, um, loadout for, like, swapping for using the extinguisher and the, again, this also applies to the reskin, the mailbox. And trust me, once, once this, once this, um, actual, like, update hit, I can assure you, the freaking, the prices for strangers went up. It cost me, like, almost, like, I think my, my extinguisher, French stranger that I bought was like ninety three dollar ninety three cents compared to where it was was like probably like less than like twenty cents since it was so bad. So they fixed it and that and then that price just skyrocketed because everyone was buying going out to buy one. Yeah. I am um this um I am hoping to get some money soon. I might actually do an unboxing video. I might even try like I'm try I'm trying to do is like make some like do some videos without my voice in TF2 with like the coin feature, but I haven't figured out how to work, so I'm not I'm not gonna work with it. <clears throat> But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. That's literally it. Yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Which I'm hopefully going to do a actual be back with fates and doing more discussions on that. So yeah, peace.